Good evening, good evening. This is Dan York of Dan's Drug and Pipe, and I just got done working in the shop. And while I'm up here, I thought I'd just give a brief overview of some new stuff that we've got going on in the shop that I think is going to help you out real good. Hang on. Check this right out. All right. So one of my pet peeves, I've, I've got a hundred of them, but one of my pet peeves is when I go to install a stovepipe job is I make stainless and it's wicked rugged. So you try to put a screw through it and it wobbles all over the place. You guys know what I'm talking about. Before you know it, you bust a knuckle, boom! And you're like, oh, try not to swear because the wife might be around. Well, I got sick of doing that. So let's just take something off the shelf I got here. What I've done is I've made these new clamps. These are stovepipe clamps, and what they do is they're going to allow for a non-screw installation. No screwing around. No pun intended, or maybe there is. So what you do, just take something right off the floor here. This is a standard 6 inch by 36 inch piece of pipe. Ain't this a beautiful rugged piece of artwork right here. Okay, so what we do, on your crimped end, you go, and, and this, this is a draw band connector. You can see what I've done is I've made some clips. And uh, standard 716's American on here with a Phillips head. Stainless steel hardware, all of it. What happens is you see you've got a bead in the middle and two of these little beads on the outside. It goes over the pipe. You push it on the pipe until you hear it click. Did you hear that? So then you take the pipe that you want to connect to it. And before we put this on, I'm going to show you this little doodad as well. This right here is a nice little six inch piece of pipe. You see this thing in the middle of it, your dampener? Now how many times have you busted knuckles trying to put these in there? Well, what I do is I make them and I put the dampener insert right in there. So when you want a dampener, you order from Dan's Rugged Pipe, you have it already made right here. Dampener insert, $20.99. Put that right in your pipe, you install it just like a regular piece of pipe. All right, back to the install. This will go right over that piece of pipe and inside that clamp. It's nice and, nice and loose. Now, I know this is one for demonstration, but I like to index my seams, 180. So we got a seam here, we got a seam here. It's better for a strong installation. Now, you can put this wherever you like, okay? But now the point is, is that this ceiling bead is on the bead. This right here is clamped on, it is uh, over the crimped end of the piece of pipe. So what we do is take a standard 7 16 wrench, a Phillips head screwdriver, just simply tighten that clamp right up. Now you can do this with a cordless drill, whatever you want to do. But the point of the matter is, we'll clamp this right up. It's going to give a nice finish to your, to your install. And you might say, oh, this might be taking a little bit. Let me tell you something. If you ever get a screw go bad, or how many you know, self-tapping screws you go through when you're trying to make this install, a whole bunch of things can go wrong simply because you're buying lifetime pipe. This isn't Galvi, it's not easy to screw, it's not easy to drill. This you gotta have some meat with your potatoes to install this pipe. Because this means business. Alright, so there we are. I'll take a couple couple minutes here. I'm gonna get it nice and tight so I can show you. That's all there is to it. See? Nice and tight, nice finish. See that? Now say, now mind you your crimp's gonna be coming down coming down to your stove here. Here's your handle. Hot, hot fire, cold fire, hot fire, cold fire. But you got this nice installation, nice finished seam. No screws, no drilling, no fuss, no muss. What that also allows you to do, allows you to when you're gonna be doing your cleanup on your stove pipe and say you wanna, you know when you wanna clean up your stove, you, you, you should maintain your stove pipe, clean the creosol up, we know what we're burning, we know we're burning solar fuel. And we want our stove pipe to last a long time, so say you wanna do a cleanup. So what you do is you just loosen this back up, and again, once you get that loose, you just, now I made it, now I'm gonna show you something here. Once we get this, so it's, so it's, now the screws that are on here for the installation, the best way to make this installation is the screws are the right size. So when you get to the point where the bolt, let me turn this around for you, where the bolt is flush with the end of the nut. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. This will come right out. Look at that. Take your pipe apart, boom, 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 install it, leave your clip right on there. Or not, clean your pipe out. Pop your piece back on, pull the 
can be split. Tighten your thing back up. Tighten your clamp back up. Go back on an install. All right. I know that took five minutes to show a 30 second demonstration, but I talk a lot. Anyway, if you're interested in Dan's Rugged Pipe, look me up on the web. Just Google Dan's Rugged Pipe. The web is a better salesman than I am. Get yourself something rugged. You'll like it. Have a great day. Remember, live long, live strong, and peace. Love one another.